Hey guys, this is Greg from The Trading Post here with you again playing some Hearthstone. And today, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. We'll do some solo adventures. We're going to grind down some heroic patchwork. And as you saw there, patchwork has a hero power that costs four and allows him to destroy a minion of his choice that is on the board. And I'm going to attack him today with a mage, as you can see there. Patchy Mage is the name of this deck. And this is a deck purely designed to survive and grind down patchwork. I won't be doing a terrible amount of damage with it at any point. I purely built this deck to survive. So there will be a lot of freezes, a lot of taunts, and just a little bit of incidental damage as we go. As you can see there, Patchwork does not have any cards, so we'll use that fatigue that's set up to us a little bit throughout this game. Also, he has that hook that we just moused over. A 4-8 weapon with Wind Fury and a Death Rattle that sends it right back into his hand. So he will always have you that equipped for all intents and purposes. So he'll have 4 damage available to do to potentially 2 enemies at any time. So we'll put out a little taunt there. Reduce the damage that we take to our face to 4. Because this is about surviving. We, want, we don't mind taking damage. But we don't want to take all the damage, so we'll do the same thing here. There's a little bit of that incidental damage we do to him as he attacks our taunt minion. Takes two and then drops four damage on us again. So as we move into this turn, his hero power, Hateful Strike, will come into play. So we'll freeze him up so that we don't take the eight damage from the hook. And we'll drop that loot hoarder out there so when Hateful Strike deploys, we'll get a little bit of benefit there. You want to use Hateful Strike to your advantage as best that you can. Uh, something to keep in mind there. You can drop a little Death Rattle thing like that. Something like the Loot Hoarder. And it can have a little bit of advantage for you. Another one that is kind of nice to drop out there from time to time are these Dancing Swords and this Nerubian Egg. Both of those have beneficial Death Rattles to you. So there he goes, Hateful Strike. He'll bias towards eliminating the card that has the highest damage. So that eliminates our Dancing Swords, but he takes a little bit of fatigue damage because of that. And we don't want to rely on fatigue damage, but it's something that we can use to slowly grind down some of his health throughout this game. And now, if you look at his situation, we can plan our move going forward here. He will have to equip his hook, so he won't be able to use his Hateful Strike. So we can get away with putting out just a single taunt minion there. He'll apply his hook, he'll take out our single taunt minion, and because we chose the ghoul, it'll do damage all around, and we're left with a 4-4 in the ruby that we'll be able to use to attack his face. Now if you look at the score here, it's not looking very pretty. We are severely down in a deficit of 2 to 41. But we'll just keep plugging away here because there are a lot of survival tricks in this deck that'll get us through such as this ability to drop out three taunt minions pretty easy. Those three taunt minions will allow us to survive one more turn, and we can keep this game going. Hateful Strike away one, and then he's forced to take out the other two with the hook. So we survive another turn, that'll give us four more damage that we can do with our Nerubian as well, and another three that we can do via our freeze, which will allow us to survive another turn. Because the only way that Patchwork can hurt you is with his hook. So if he can't attack, you're going to survive another turn. It's all about figuring out ways to survive just one more turn. So we'll grind down what damage we have available and let him do his thing. I don't know what'll happen here with two 4-4s four on the board. That's a bummer. I was hoping he'd take out the Dancing Sword, but I guess he will bias towards attacking the minion without Death Rattle when all things are equal. So we'll go ahead, we will drop our Ice Barrier that gives us 8 armor when attacked, so that guarantees that we will survive another turn. We'll drop in our damage. This time his Hateful Strike will take out our Dancing Swords. But first, I guess he'll attack me. Ice Barrier deploy! Attack 1. Burn some armor. There it is, Hateful Strike. Do a little bit of fatigue damage. Grind up that multiplier. Attack number 2. Gets rid of my armor, but the important thing is I survive. That was predictable damage that we planned for. So we'll go ahead, we'll freeze Patchwork again. That guarantees that I will survive another turn. We don't want to play any of those other minions because they'll just get burnt away by Hateful Strike. So we'll allow that one to die. 
We weren't planning on that 5-5 damage at any point. That was purely for the freeze. So we'll drop this engineer. We'll just see what card we get. And there you go. Ready for action. We'll drop out our three taunts here, and that will allow us to survive one turn. We'll drop out the fourth, so we're guaranteed to do a little bit more damage to Patchwork. And we'll hit the Ice Barrier, so that we have basically two turns of survival on the board now. Grind one away with Hateful Strike, and we will let him do his thing. And I don't know why he took out that 1-2 instead of the 0-2, but that's alright. Does a little bit of damage to Patchy, and we'll keep moving forward. We'll drop some damage there. We'll drop in our other taunt so that he can waste one of his hook strikes on the taunt. Obviously one gets burnt away by Hateful Strike. And he'll take out the other. And then he'll come for me. But another Ice Barrier saves the day. And we will live to fight another day. But this looks bad. I need some way to survive another turn. Let's see. It's another Novice Engineer. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh my goodness, Ice Lance to the rescue! So we'll freeze him up and we'll hope for another lucky draw. Because let's be honest, at this point I'm not even going to lie to you, this has come down to lucky draws. But sometimes you have to make your own luck, and that's what we've done in this deck, building it the way that we did. You can't give up on this deck. No matter how bad it looks, fight this one until you die. Because as you see, there is just an array of draws, freezes, taunts, that can keep you alive, and here you go, one of those draws. This one's probably the best card in my entire deck for this, because it replenishes your hand, and it forces him to take two cards worth of fatigue, which at this point winds up being seven damage. And the extra cards it gives me lets us grind him down to just one. Would you look at that? That little murloc saved our lives! Thank you, little murloc buddy! So despite the fact that I was down, what was it, 41 to 2? You keep surviving, you keep grinding, and you wind up with a giant dead abomination. And a victory, and an angry Kel'Thuzad. So there you go, Patchy Mage. My preferred poison when attacking Patchwork. We'll go ahead and place the link to the deck build down in the description below. Also in the description, you'll find links to our Facebook, our Twitter, our website. So please click away on some of those. Don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos so you can stay up to date on these Hearthstone playthroughs and all the other great content from The Trading Post. Thank you so much for watching. One more time, I am Greg from The Trading Post, and we'll see you soon.